Welcome back and happy Friday. I'm Josephine Sage. Let's talk weather. We still have this winter weather advisory active in Mesa County at least until 6 a.m. on Sunday, but it's not just for Mesa County and it's in a lot of those high regions as we look down the I-70 corridor and through those southern regions. And we'll even notice over Vail right now, I took this picture earlier, well, screenshotted it from CO Trip, and we are seeing lots and lots of low visibility. If you do have those travel plans towards the front range, drive safe on those roads. I see slushy, snowy, and of course, low visibility out and about. But locally, we are expecting cooler temperatures as we get through tonight and into Saturday, one of the, well, the coolest day of the week on Saturday. We have some thunderstorms expected here in the Grand Valley as we go to sleep tonight and wake up tomorrow, continuing through those Saturday afternoon hours. Slight chance for some showers on Sunday as well, but dispersing by Sunday afternoon. And yes, like I did mention, snow in the high country is coming down. But earlier today, those wind speeds were a little bit more mild through Grand Junction in the desert valleys, but Rifle saw 44 mile an hour wind gusts, Montrose 46 mile an hour wind gusts, but that rainfall potential into tomorrow with these a little bit of some elevated wind speed shows as we wake up widespread through, well, just about Fruta, Mac, Loma, Grand Junction, Nucla, Glade Park. That's where we're going to see that moisture and through those southern regions and even the Front Range and Rocky Mountain National Park. But as we fast forward into the afternoon hours, we're starting to see this widespread, but more so scattered through the entire western slope. And then as we go to sleep on Saturday, yes, we're still going to see some moisture here in Grand Junction, not so much in Delta and Montrose, though. We'll notice that chance for precipitation is dropping on down to sun on Sunday to 50% in those morning hours. But again, I mentioned clearing on out by the afternoon. The early work week starting to be dry. Not really any chances for that rain to hit the ground. But our future cast does show, again, we're going to sleep tonight, wet skies. And then we'll see as we get into those morning hours of Saturday, still continuing to see that down that I-70 corridor. We'll notice by the afternoon hours still sticking around. But the bulk of this moisture, at least the snow, is going to land through maybe Rabbit Ears Pass and Vail Pass, where there's going to be some considerable snow accumulation by the time this storm moves moves on out. So in our snow projections, we're noticing through Gunnison and Pagosa Springs, really little. However, we're going to see about a foot through that Vail Pass region and then Steamboat Springs and Aspen about two feet, at least on those mountain tops. Of course, not on those uh, kind of town roads. But earlier today, we were feeling or saw 67 in Grand Junction with those rainy skies, 61 through Montrose. And that's shy of our seasonal average by just a couple of degrees. And that's going to be the trend at least into tomorrow before we start to increase again into those 70s, upper 70s, and even 80s as well. Now, tonight we are going to be in those 40s. So maybe close those windows. It's going to be rainy outside. And our our pollen forecast hasn't really shifted too much. We have high tree pollen, low grasses pollen, low weed pollen. It's just a tab of some mold with us. We'll notice tomorrow we're also coolest day of the week, but not for long. We'll notice in Discovery Auto Group's seven-day forecast, mid-60s, then 70s, then 80s by the time we get into the middle of the work week. Some pretty warm temperatures are on our way very, very soon. In Montrose, we're not very far behind. 50s before we jump up into the 60s and even 70s on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Get those shorts out as we start the work week.